Hey, what's up guys? Josh Donnelly here with yet another Pro Theme Cornerstone tutorial and in today's video we are going to take a quick look at how to use the modal element as a light box for your ACF image galleries. Now, if you don't know how to set up a custom post type and ACF image galleries, check out the video in the description below where we walked through how to do that for uh, a uh, portfolio as an example. We've already got the groundwork for that laid out. I'll kind of show you what we did here. We actually created a custom post type for our portfolio. You'll notice that here. That then shows our portfolio on the left-hand side. Then within our portfolio custom post type, we created a custom field using ACF Pro. We have that portfolio fields uh, ACF group here, and we named our gallery portfolio underscore image underscore gallery. Now we could actually give this a pretty name, so gallery. And then we just need to remember our field name. So we'll go ahead and save. And now when we look under portfolio items, you'll notice we have a couple of examples here, but under this one here, under Acme Inc., we have a gallery set with a few images uh, listed in there. When we jump on over to our portfolio for this company here, you'll notice it is blank, and that is because we need to set up a single post layout. So we'll create one here. We'll call this portfolio single and we'll create our layout. Now we'll go ahead and do this from scratch and I'll kind of show you uh, what we're trying to accomplish here. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is just how this would be done if you weren't doing a light box. We could create a row and then within that row, we could come over to our looper provider and we can make this dynamic content. And under our dynamic content, we wanna add an ACF field. We know that that gallery field was portfolio underscore image underscore gallery. So we'll go ahead and add that in here. And now we have our looper provider. So you'll see the red box within that row. We actually might want to let's make this like a four by and this column we will make a consumer. So now it's consuming, but it doesn't know what it's consuming. So we need to tell it. So if we jump over here and we click on advanced, I'm going to make just the background of this uh, an image element. And we'll go ahead and click our dynamic content and uh, we want this to pull through our looper current item and so we'll go ahead and do that so what it's doing is it's grabbing the dynamic content from our uh, gallery field which is the looper provider and it's piping that in here uh, to our consumer and then the only other thing we want to do is make sure that our minimum height is set to something like 300 so we can actually see these items here uh, one thing that I forgot to do, and the reason we're not seeing anything here, is we also want to we want to do two things actually. One, we want to make sure that we're previewing the right thing. So we want to preview a portfolio item, and we want it to be Acme. And so now you'll see the photos that show up in that gallery. And then the other thing, so that this actually works, is we want to go under settings and under conditions, and we want to make sure that this applies to our post type portfolio item and so when you're viewing this portfolio item on the front end of the site and we refresh this page here we should now see our images coming through so this is perfect but you'll notice I can't click on anything like you would expect with like an image gallery a light box or something like that so how do we achieve that well let's jump back over to our single uh, post type here and I'm actually going to duplicate this section so we can kind of keep the old one here below and we'll work on this new one here so we have our looper provider uh, set up, but what we're actually going to do is create a row right above this outside of our looper provider. And let's go ahead and just add a standard modal element. Uh, now out of the box, it's a pretty basic element. You can style this however you see fit. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. We're going to click on toggle. We're going to turn on text. And again, you can do whatever you want with this, but um, something like this might be a decent design let's go ahead and turn off our radius and our shadow and say view gallery so it's kind of a call to action uh, and let's get rid of our background there so it's just text so oh and then maybe we want our image to look a little our icon to look a little more like a gallery so we might do something like image gallery something like this so now you'll see we have a nice little call to action here, but how do we wire up this modal to display these photos here, depending on which one is being clicked? Well, that's where the fun part kind of comes in. So under the modal here, we're going to go ahead and expand this out and we want to add a stacked slider. Now, as I've always stated, you guys can go ahead and style these things as you see fit. I'm just going to use the basic styling so we can kind of get working here. The first thing we're going to do with this slider is click on the slide container. And within that slide container, 
we are going to make this a looper provider of dynamic content. And we're going to do the same dynamic content as the area below. This is just your gallery field. So you can just pop in that dynamic content or you can come over here, click on post field and click on gallery and add that in. And so now we have a provider here and then we want to click on slide one. And you know what I'm going to do just to make sure I'm working on the right slide is get rid of two and three because those are going to be looped in. I am going to delete my text here just to get it out of the way. I'm going to make slide one a consumer. And then within that, um, I'm going to place an image element. And I'm going to make that image element just like we did below. It's going to be our looper current item. And so this should start to pull through a gallery. There we go that we can browse through. Now again, you probably want to play with this so that they actually uh, look nice in the format nicely, you might want your uh, modal element itself to be, you know, a little wider. So you might do something like, you know, this, um, what have you, right? So something simple like that. But now how do we control that modal with these elements below? Well, the first thing we're going to do is under the modal here, we want to add a toggle hash and we'll just call this R dash gallery something like that, something that we can call to to open it up. Now here we've already created our looper provider and our looper consumers. So we're just going to click on this one here. We're going to make this a link field, which then makes all of these links because they're all consumers. And in the uh, link URL, we're going to make this our toggle hash. So clicking on one of these should open up on the front end of the site. Let's go ahead and do this. Clicking on any one of these should open up our gallery, but you'll notice if I click on, you know, this gray one here, it's still always opening up the first photo in our gallery. So it doesn't know which one we're clicking on yet. It's just opening up that modal. So how do we then wire that piece up? Well, so we've got these connected and they're opening the modal. Now we want to add here on each one of these, we're going to actually click on uh, our image on our column. And under custom attributes, we are going to add data dash X dash slide dash go to. So it should look something like this. And then in here, we actually want this to be dynamic content, which is the index of the looper. So it should say DC looper index. And so now each one of these, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so it's automatically dynamically popping those numbers into this here. So when we save this and we jump out onto the front end of the site, now we could click on, this is one, two, three, four, five, click on five and it opens slide five. We could close out and click on two and it opens slide two. You can still toggle over, you could view different ones. And then when I click on one, it starts at one. Or again, if I go to number two here, I close out and I click on number six, it opens up that one here. So now it's all wired up. So again, this was static down here, but now we've wired all of these things up. Now we might want to play with this design just a little bit and add a little more, you know, I don't know, spacing here, um, make this look a little more balanced, something like this or like, uh, you know, this here. Now, when someone comes to the page, they have this view gallery button that would just allow them to browse through, or they see all your images here can click on one and they get a modal that pops out there. So hopefully that helps you guys get started on how to use modal elements as light boxes for your ACF galleries. If you guys do have any other questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.